So there are uh, an Adam Donenfeld uh, of Checkpoint presented at DEF CON. Uh, his presentation was titled Stumping the Mobile Chipset. Uh, and his, the little synopsis of, of his presentation read, following recent security issues discovered in Android, in Android, Google made a number of changes to tighten security across its fragmented landscape. However, Google is not alone in the struggle to keep Android safe. Qualcomm, a supplier of 80% of the chipsets in the Android ecosystem has almost as much effect on Android security as Google. With this in mind, we decided to closely examine Qualcomm's code in Android devices. During our research, we found multiple privilege escalation vulnerabilities in multiple subsystems introduced by Qualcomm to all its Android devices in multiple and this is a little redundant, multiple different subsystems. In this presentation, they write, we will review not only the privilege escalation vulnerabilities we found, but also demonstrate and present a detailed exploitation, overcoming all the existing mitigations in Android's Linux kernel to run kernel code, elevating privileges, and thus gaining root privilege and completely bypassing SE Linux, which of course is the security enhanced Linux. So they gave that presentation. Uh, all versions of Android were vulnerable to these newly revealed flaws. However, they had been trickling the news out responsibly since April uh, and from April through last month. And so all, so most of them have been fixed uh, in the um, in the supply chain. Google fixed all but one, which was unable to make it into the uh, into the August updates. So it'll be it'll be in the September updates. Um, so they but they th these flaws affect Android phones and tablets that ship with Qualcomm chips which could let a, ha a hacker take full control of an affected device. And I had a list of the phones somewhere. Oh, there. Uh, Google's Nexus 5X, Nexus 6, 6P, HTC's 1M9 and HTC 10, and Samsung's Gal Galaxy S7 uh, and just the S7. Uh, oh, and I love this too. And the recently announced... BlackBerry DTEK50, which of course BlackBerry touts as the most secure Android smartphone. And as we've often said, that's just marketing speak. You know, no, no one can declare something the most secure anything. They can declare their intent, uh, but it's as we have learned, because security are mistakes... You know, you know, you don't deliberately make mistakes. That's what's why it's a mistake, um, and those mistakes create vulnerabilities that can then be exploited. Which sort of tautologically says you can't say it's the most secure phone because you know it's not a statement that has that c contains any sense. So uh, anyway, so these are these are uh, um, malicious software install exploits, meaning that somebody would, a, a malicious actor would need to sneak an app either past Google scrutiny or uh, the user would have to be incented. Uh, and unfortunately, we've just seen this, with, we were talking about this with, with Pokemon Go, that people were installing it sideways uh, into their phone by, by deliberately turning off the you know, only install apps from the Google Play Store, turning that off in order to install something that wasn't available. So we know that that's being done. But anyway, so, so these, these, this is not something like stage fright where just someone sending you an MMS can, can take over your phone. This requires you to install some software. However, that software, that, that, that Android application needs no special privileges at all. It doesn't need to ask for anything. It can look completely benign 
yet using these exploits, it's able to essentially get root on your phone and then, you know, have the, the run of the kingdom do a- anything that it wants to. Um, a lot of them are in the process of being fixed and will be fixed. The final one from Google by uh, in the next month's batch of patches. 